With all the free agency moves that the Denver Broncos have made, it was bound that they were going to miss out on somebody. So as I was going through Twitter this evening, I saw something that really caught my eye. First, it was in a tweet from Ari Mirov, my sports update, Pro Football Focus NFL Insider, and it was later reported again by Jordan Schultz of The Score. Earlier this afternoon, it was announced that the New York Jets have agreed to terms with Alan Lazard, former Green Bay Packers wide receiver, on a four-year, $44 million contract. Lazard is now poised to reunite with former Broncos head coach and his old Packers offensive coordinator, Nathaniel Hackett. With all of the various rumors surrounding Aaron Rodgers to the Jets and how that deal is basically done and how Aaron Rodgers gave the Jets a list of players that he wanted them to sign and that listing included Lazard, you have to imagine that that's ultimately what influenced Lazard's decision to go to the Jets. However, according to these reports, there was another team out there that was heavily interested in Alan Lazard's services, and that is the Denver Broncos. I will admit, this is definitely one that sort of caught me off guard a little bit. But when you peel back the layers of the onion, it actually does make sense. Although, of course, Lazard was not a free agent last season, this is a move that obviously would have made a lot more sense for the Broncos last year when Nathaniel Hackett was here. However, according to various reports, the Denver Broncos have been fielding trade calls about wide receivers Cortland Sutton, Jerry Judy, and KJ Hamler. The most likely player to get traded amongst those three is Cortland Sutton with his $18 million cap hit. Further bolstering the rumors of Cortland Sutton getting traded is a tweet that I saw from Benjamin Albright that said, if you do not own Tim Patrick in your fantasy dynasty leagues, then you probably should do so. The wide receiver in Denver whose skill set is most similar to Tim Patrick's, of course, is Cortland Sutton, so that would heavily indicate to me that Cortland Sutton is the guy who is on the trading block. Alan Lazard ended up taking an $11 million deal with the Jets, and according to these reports, it was really down to the wire in negotiations between the Jets and the Broncos for Alan Lazard's services. So that means that the Broncos were probably prepared to offer a similar financial figure, but Alan Lazard ended up choosing the Jets. Rumor has it that we could be getting an announcement tomorrow on the Pat McAfee show from Aaron Rodgers about his future, and that could mean that he goes to the Jets. Now, one interesting angle about this that actually my fellow syndicate host Donovan of the Miami Dolphins syndicate brought up to me is that there's a possibility that if Aaron Rodgers decides to retire, Alan Lazard could back out of his deal with the Jets. None of the free agent deals that have been agreed to in the NFL so far can become official until 2 p.m. tomorrow. So that means that if Aaron Rodgers goes on the Pat McAfee show and announces that he's retiring, Alan Lazard could, in theory, say, no, I'm not going to go play with the Jets after all. If that's the case, then the Denver Broncos could potentially be in play for his services. I don't think that's likely, considering that the signing was already announced, and almost all indications are that Aaron Rodgers is going to go to the Jets. Still, though, that is something you could potentially think about here in Denver. It's definitely a little scuttle buddy for sure, but it is a possibility. During his five seasons with the Packers, Lazard caught 169 passes for 2,236 yards and 20 touchdowns. Up until last season, he served as Green Bay's wide receiver 2, then he had to step up to the plate as Green Bay's de facto wide receiver 1 after the Devontae Adams trade. The Broncos were probably thinking that they could get Lazard for somewhere around $11 million and then trade away Cortland Sutton and get his $18 million cap hit off the books, which would give them some more money to play with. I could definitely see that logic, however, I'm personally kind of glad that Alan Lazard went to the Jets and I feel like we dodged a bullet a little bit. Though Alan Lazard has been somewhat productive on the stat sheet, I really don't love him as a well-rounded, complete wide receiver. His route running doesn't excite me, he's not the fastest guy out there, and for a guy with his size and his frame, he's not exactly the greatest jump ball guy, and that's of course one of Cortland Sutton's greatest skill sets. So yeah, I definitely was not totally crazy about Alan Lazard potentially coming to the Denver Broncos and again I really feel like the team dodged a bullet. However, there is maybe a 1% chance that he could back out of that deal with the Jets and swing to come to Denver if Aaron Rodgers announces his retirement. Alright Broncos country, I'm curious. 
what do you guys feel about this development in regards to Cortland Sutton? Do you guys feel like the Broncos pursuing Alan Lazard means Cortland Sutton is most likely gone? Drop those comments down below. I would love to hear from you. Be sure to leave a like on this video as well as subscribe and ring the bell so these videos appear in your notification feed. And while you're at it, guys, be sure to follow me on Twitter at Gage Madrid NFL for continuing updates regarding Cortland Sutton's future in the Mile High City. And for now, guys, this has been another episode of Denver Broncos Syndicate. I am your host, Gage Madrid, saying peace out.